Hello everyone, Ronix with it. Another tutorial, and in this tutorial today, I'll show you guys how all the best frequency separation screen retouching technique in Photoshop. Uh, there are various ways of frequency separation. We have the one for using the mixer brush tool, and the one for using the lasso tool method, and the very third step that is my own making or my creation is combining both methods. So we want to see what is going to be the best way of skin retouching in Photoshop using frequency separation. So you're going to be letting me know in the comment section about which is the best method for frequency separation, the mixer brush tool, the lasso tool method, or when you combine the two methods for doing your skin retouching in Photoshop. So just let me know in the comment section about which method you use and which one you prefer and why you do prefer it. So this is going to be majorly a comparison between the two or oh, sorry the three frequency separation method that is the mixer brush tool method the lasso tool method and finally combining the three frequency separation methods for skin retouching so let's kick in and we learn about the very first method and that is going to be using uh, the lasso tool method to do skin retouching using frequency separation as you can see the image you are using right now was taken by Encourage Photography and I'm going to put the link to his Instagram right in the descri uh, description of this video so that you guys can check him out. He is an amazing portrait photographer. So this is the image. I already re removed the blemishes. So we are going to start right away with the frequency separation method of using the lasso tool. So I'm just going to uh, start by going through each and everything for uh maybe creating the frequency separation group so that uh, we can understand each and every uh, step so i'm going to be grouping each and every uh, frequency separation technique so that we can compare everything about frequency separation so let me start by just creating the two layers for the frequency separation so we're going to name this high and you're going to name this a uh, low frequency so like that so as usual, turn this off and just come to a filter, blur, come to Gaussian blur. So we only want to remain uh, with uh, the textures. And for those that have, uh, we only want to remain with the colors or skin tones in this low frequency layer. And for the people that do have uh, the action, uh, this is where your action stops playing and it lets you determine uh, the amount of uh, skin textures you want to retain in your image. So this on this step and uh, it is why you also Move this to only re remain with the skin tones or the colors in the image So for this case, I'm just going to take this until I've lost out on the Skin textures in this very image and remember the textures you get rid of uh, In the image are the same textures you're going to be uh, retaining in your high frequency layer. So I'm just going to come and hit OK. So this is basically not uh, a full or detailed skin retouching tutorial. It is uh, majorly a comparison. So if I told you want to learn about the full frequency separation, the link is going to be right above here so that you can learn every detail. But this is uh, maybe an overview about everything. So that's why I'm just coming and I'm doing this right quick. And I don't have the action as yet. Because I'm too lazy to create the action. So let's put these two in a group. So we are going to name this. Uh, let's name uh, the very first method. You are going to name it uh, lasso tool. So you are going to be learning about the lasso tool method first. So come right here and change the blending mode to a uh, linear light like that. So we are going to learn about the lasso tool. And under the lasso tool. We make sure we select the low frequency layer and we get uh, to the lasso tool and if at all uh, your tool is looking like this cross icon you're seeing on the screen make sure you uh, click on the caps key to get uh, the icon of the lasso tool so usually under a lasso tool you make sure you zoom into your image like this and draw to make a selection on the skin area like that so that you uh, apply the Gaussian blur effect on that particular area so we have selected this area then usually we come to the filter and come to the blur and come to 
the Gaussian blur and I will start moving this radius until I will feel like I will have gotten the best uh, texture of our image and after we feel it is okay we come and hit okay like that or enter on the keyboard so you can see uh, the texture right now so we just want to draw shapes and apply the effect onto the rest of the image like this so this is majorly a comparison so after drawing that shape right click and hit Gaussian blur to apply the effect on a different area like that and as usual as I've always told you if at all you felt like the effect is too much on a particular area you can just come in uh, hit shift ctrl f or shift command f to reduce on the effect uh, of uh, the Gaussian blur on a particular area so we're just using the lasso tool method only to uh, do the skin retouching using frequency separation uh, for this tutorial and this is basically more of a comparison kind of uh, tutorial about the best frequency separation method for skin retouching in Photoshop. So we are almost done using uh, the lasso tool method. So let's come and just apply it right below here. And like I said, if at all you feel it is too much, come and hit Shift Command F or Shift Control F to reduce on the effect like that. So let's uh, do this. So let's come and we just apply it right there and hit on Gaussian Blur. Uh, let's come and do it right here. Hit Gaussian Blur. So after we have done doing so, uh, this is now the lasso tool method for doing your frequency separation and we are basically done with this uh, lasso tool method. So let's say before and after. So that's the image before, after, before, after. Quite powerful, isn't it? Yes, it is. So let's turn this off and we learn about the very second method for doing skin retouching and that is using the mixer brush tool alone so you're going to be using basically only the mixer brush tool uh, to retouch this image so we're just going to create the two frequency separation layers like we have done before so we're going to name this uh sorry we're going to name this layer low low and we're going to name the upper layer high so you're just going to come and we create these two uh, layers like that. Then you're going to turn this off and come and uh, come to filter and come to blur and come to Gaussian blur like this. And we are going to blur out, we are going to basically use the same radius as we used before. Hit OK and come to the high frequency layer, activate it. Come to image and come to apply image. And we are going to leave these settings the way they are like this. And come and hit OK. Change the blending mode to a uh, linear light like this and you're going to put these two in a group and you're going to hit Control command G on the keyboard. Then you're going to name this uh, mixer brush like this. So this is where we'll be using the mixer brush tool uh, to blend the skin tones or even out the skin tones in just Photoshop. And you can see the image is already healed or we have removed the blemishes from the image. So as usual for a mixer brush tool, select the high frequency layer and I will prefer to create a black and white layer like I've always said in my tutorials. So come right here under uh, the reds and now just darken to get uh, to see those uneven skin tones. And come the low frequency layer and just uh, right click, look for a mixer brush tool under the brushes. Uh, make sure it is a clean brush and make sure this second box is checked because we want Photoshop to automatically clean the brush for us every time we try to blend the skin tones. Wetness is 8%, load is 75%, mix 90 and flow 100. Make sure sample, sample all layers is not marked or selected. So we just want to blend using only the mixer brush tool. So, and remember when you're doing this, make sure you mix the mid-tones alone, the highlights alone and the shadows alone. So let's do this and just blend uh, these areas like that. So you can as well work without the black and white layer and when you're using the mixer brush tool, make sure you blend 
uh, the mid-tones alone, the highlights alone, and the shadows alone. And when you're doing so, make sure you uh, decrease or increase on the size of your brush, depending on the area you're trying to do the blending. And when you're blending, make sure you don't blend a particular area for a long time because it is going to be doubling the wetness effect on that particular area. So make sure you do take your time while blending uh, this unevenness in the skin tone. So we are basically trying to harmonize the skin tones uh, within uh, the image like this. I hope you're getting uh, this right. So let's uh, continue uh, doing this and just blending the unevenness in the skin tones using the mixer brush tool. So basically some people prefer to use uh, this uh, method of skin retouching alone and others prefer to uh, use uh, the lasso tool method alone. So you're just going to compare and see, you're just going to do a comparison and see a best method for doing the skin retouching in just uh, Photoshop. So let's do this and blend uh, the skin tones like that. So you can turn this off to see uh, your progress so far. So that's the before and after so far. So let's come and just blend. Like I said, you can as well work without uh, the aid of the black and white layer to clearly see where the skin tones are not transitioning uh, well so that you can uh, blend uh, those particular areas. So you can just come and do the blending right below. So I think uh, so far so good uh, with the mixer brush tool. So let's see the before and after for the mixer brush tool. So let's come and delete the black and white layer because you don't need it as usual. So this is uh, the mixer brush tool. That's the before and after before after you can see what it has just done and the result it has created and uh, this is the lasso tool method for uh, doing your frequency separation so right now we want to combine the two methods for using uh, the for doing frequency separation or doing the skin retouching in photoshop so we're just going to come right back and we create those two uh, background layers or copies then you're going to name this low as usual and you're going to name uh, this high like that and after we're going to turn this off and select the low frequency layer come to filter and come to blur and gush and blur you're going to be using nine of course like we did for the previous uh method so that we can have a uniform texture or uniform results because we want this comparison to be quite a fair comparison Come to the high frequency layer and activate it. Then come to image and apply image. Same settings as we used before. Hit OK. And you're going to change the blending mode from normal to linear light. Then you're going to put these two in a group by hitting Ctrl or Command G on the keyboard. Then you're going to name this group uh, Lasso uh, plus Mixer Brush. So I'm just going to name it uh, Mixer brush like this so you're going to open this group and you're going to first of all i uh, use the mixer brush tool to blend the skin tones in this very image and in order to do that you're going to first of all create the black and white layer then darken like this and you're going to close this and select the low frequency layer get the mixer brush tool same settings like we had previously uh, zoom uh, increase on the size of the mixer brush tool and start blending and when you're blending make sure you're on your low frequency layer and just come and continue uh, blending or harmonizing uh, the skin tones like that so let's uh, do that so we're basically trying to uh, do the harmonizing of the skin tones using uh, the mixer brush tool in just photoshop so and after that, we're just going to uh, slap on or combine it with uh, the second method for using uh, the lasso tool method to harmonize or blend uh, the skin tones in this very image. So basically, that is uh, what we are just going to do. And now we're using a mixer brush tool to just uh, blend or harmonize the skin tones. And for the areas you may have skipped or missed out when you are using your mixer brush tool, 
uh, to blend the skin tones in this image you can as well apply the lasso tool method uh, to uh, blend the skin tones or have smooth transitions in the skin tones because a uh, skin retouching is more uh, about creating uh, or harmonizing uh, the skin tone transitions basically so you can see what uh, we are doing right now so let's uh, just come and blend uh, this other area like that so let's turn this black and white layer off and I will just come and see where we haven't mixed quite well so let's come right here then after we have done so we are going to now come and we are going to delete the black and white layer because we don't need it then come to the low frequency layer and select the lasso tool make sure feathering is 23 and alias is selected and we are just going to uh, zoom in and look for the area of the skin we want to really perfect so we are just going to come like that and draw a shape and that shape should be drawn on only uh, the skin tone so we are going to come to filter we are going to come to blur and we are going to come to Gaussian blur uh, we are going to use a slide until uh, we see uh, the best skin texture on the image so we are just going to go with this value hit ok so I want to apply the effect on the rest of the image so we are just going to draw shapes right click and hit Gaussian blur like that until uh, we feel like we have applied uh, the effect onto the overall image so basically that is what we are just trying to do so you can see the way I'm drawing these shapes is uh, the way light is falling on the image so just don't want to uh, mess that up so after we are after we have done this we are just going to compare are the frequency separation methods and you're going to be letting me know in the comment section about which is the best method for doing frequency separation in Photoshop so I think uh, let's just come and do this and apply it right here so let's come and also apply it right here so like I said this is I think my own invention about uh, combining the two frequency separation methods so basically we are done doing the frequency separation using the mixer brush tool and the lasso tool method in Photoshop and you can see this is the image before after before after so if I told you take a close emphasis or a close look on this line right here where the makeup was not blending well you can notice that we have tried to blend it into the skin so here we are now going to do a comparison about uh, the three frequency separation methods first of all you're going to turn this off so that we can start uh, from the lasso tool method you can see the before and after for the lasso tool alone you can see uh, what I can notice is you can see some bumpiness uh, within the skin tones right here on the lips and you can see this line of the makeup is still existing and you can see some harsh transitions in the skin tones are uh, within this area and part of the nose area i hope you guys are noticing that then we are going to sorry this uh, has been the la mixer brush tool so let's first of all select uh, the lasso tool method so we can still notice that this line has been right there and we don't have nice transition uh, transitions in the skin tones uh, because this line is existing and we still have some patches right here then we also have some tiny patches I don't know if you can notice them but we still have them right there and yeah basically that is up for the lasso tool and we still have some patches right here and when we turn this off and select the mixer brush tool same story we still missed out on some areas right here and this line is still existing and we still have some harsh transitions in the skin tones and right above the eyebrow on the corner right here then this uh, the third method is where we have combined the first two methods and we came up with the third method and this is using the mixer brush tool and the lasso tool you can see the before and the after for this very method and I think uh, this is really powerful because 
uh, this line has been gotten rid of and the harshness or uneven skin tones right here have been gotten rid of and i think uh, this is uh, it is a personal perspective this is i think my most preferred mes method for doing skin retouching using frequent frequent separation that is combining the lasso tool method and using the mixer brush tool method to do skin retouching but you can go ahead and uh, do a comparison so this is the lasso tool method before after that is the lasso tool method alone and uh, this is uh, the mixer brush tool method alone for doing skin retouching in photoshop using frequent separation and this is uh, a combined or a combination of uh, all the two frequent separation methods for skin retouching in Photoshop. So you can let me know down in the comment section about which method you prefer and the method you have been using for doing your fre frequency separation in Photoshop for skin retouching. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel and don't forget to keep creating and keep practicing especially about these uh, three frequency separation methods to see what basically works best for you and I'll see you in another tutorial and don't forget to keep practicing keep creating and stay safe